Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we will discuss mostly about the for loop and in little bit in depth. In initially introduction session we already used this before and have uh, given one small example but today we will want to try to access the index and the key and we will go a little bit in depth. Okay. So let us start with the, that simple example, whatever we created, it will be different. So let me create employee list. So we can, basically we can define an array. Uh, let me get rid of it. I define an object. So in this array, we can say name is Steve, we can create another name is Asis, we can create another is Mark, okay. So this little bit formatting about it, okay. So this is my array of a particular object, we can tr try to create some additional attribute if needed. So we can create a simple string array as well. So let me try to uh, loop it. So wh what we can do actually, we can define a UL element inside that we can define li elements. Okay, inside this we can define v for is equal to inside the double quote we can say employ in employee list okay so that means this employee will contain this one object at a time so at beginning this will be initialized with this object then it will be this and that so if we have three element in this array three times a live element will be created and now we can you know access that property using uh, double curly bracket see now it will be stored as emp we can use dot notation emp dot name okay now let me save it and reload the space so if you can see that steve asses mark is been displayed okay so if for example we would like to know this index for this is a simple array we probably don't need it but if we would like to know this index as well for doing any kind of manipulation or any kind of you know logic to be implemented in the future so we can use a simple parenthesis and instead of uh, not only the items we can also imp we can use index we can give any name this is our own variable so let me give the common name and we give this to hyphen this is just for uh, there is no fancy over here and we can specify index reload space see 0 1 2 so this is the index so we can do any kind of logic or we can access that attribute we can put some if else condition and whatever we like to okay and for example if we don't want to clutter this li element if you want to make it clean so you can uh, give this uh, you know li uh, for only writing this uh, li tag you can use a template tag okay inside this template you can specify this uh, for loop so if you want to this would be i feel a little bit cleaner because for example here you can display this li tag clearly we can't put this v4 in the ul otherwise this ul will be repeated that many times so this template who won't substitute by any other element for example it won't substitute with the division or paragraph let us see it let us save it if you reload this and we access this uh, you know inspector so here we can see steve and asses and mark so we don't see any significance apart from iterating this but if we replace with a division so the division tag will be created even though this will work because HTML is better, you know, cleaner stuff, but it is not a good way to do it. See, the division was created and inside the line. We probably won't need it. So we can better write a template. 
Okay, so I would recommend prepare. It is up to you. You can just use whatever the way you like. But this is what I feel more comfortable. So you can put V4 here or Z4, you know, writing this logic. So this is how we can access this index form. Okay. So also this is uh, because JavaScript, uh, JavaScript the array and the object are a little bit similar in nature. Not exactly same. This will contain the collection of same object. But let us define. Let's say we have employee and I, I define an object over here and here I have name Steve okay then I have is is 62 role oh, developer okay this is just kind of very fictional information so I created an object and I want to iterate it a little bit quickly so let me uh, let us uh, let me get rid of it we can use this index as well but for the simplicity sake let me keep employee instead of employee list let me copy this variable and use right over here okay so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to loop over this employee object and instead of the similar stuff will be printed this will try to print all the properties inside this employee the name the age the role okay so uh, this is the way we can uh, do it and this because okay now we have to print this employee this reload the space so the steve 62 but this particular thing will contain only the value in this case so this value is name first will be printed 62 and so on Okay, what if, if you like to want to know this key as well, if you want to know this name, then A's, raw, no need to worry. So we can use this simple parenthesis one more time, after employee name, employee or whatever maybe you can say, you can say key, or let it be there, but you can choose value in this name. So let me, so it is up to you, key, okay column name is steve age is 62 role is developer so this is the way you can access key and a value very nice and easy so we can iterate an uh, object array simple array array with object or we can access the employee which is contain key value pair okay also there is very nice little thing if you want to access using the index so that also you can do oh sorry that is appearing over here index okay so for example here now just learn what are the thing you can access most of the time you probably won't need it but this is but sometime in uh, for for doing some kind of edge case validations or some kind of display pose you may require it so knowing this will be really handy okay so if you don't need that is fine so no need to panic because if you learn it so don't think that you have to use it so if you don't need it don't use it if you just want to display the value that's good enough if you want to display the key that's well and good okay also a couple of fancy thing you can do using this particular for loop not only you can iterate an array and object, but also you can iterate a number, num I'll mention in, let's say for example, five. So it will start from one, then it will just increment over here. So quick list of number is make life a bit easier. See, one, two, three, four, and five. You can use this uh, for loop uh, and you can access all these variables, key index, and say if you want to iterate the component as well, because component is nothing but a piece of uh, you know tag which is uh, available, so you can iterate or loop. For example, if you want to create a, some kind of list and uh, inside a component, and you want to loop it, so that is very well can be done. 
So today I want to cover just the intermediate level and maybe in future I'll create some more advanced kind of for loop which will be give a little bit pointers to the performance issues how the uh, initially how BUE is try to render the list and how it try to make a reordering and also for example some of the other properties like post pop and how it manages to remove the element and adding it to new element inside the array how it would re-enter the page so but for today for basic to intermediate level it should be good enough okay thanks very much for watching the videos and uh, kindly like the, my videos and uh, also please subscribe if you want to get update about my new videos i'll really appreciate it so please help me in spreading my channel so that some people can get uh, benefited out of it and i will also get a little bit more uh, motivation to create more of these videos and also please let me know your recommendations suggestion how to improve it is it my videos very slow fast or uh, anything any any comment i'll definitely going to reply you each and everyone thanks again have a wonderful day bye bye